still alive and well in Hawaii, baby. I did get stung by a man of war jellyfish, but that hasn't stopped me from surfing practically every day now. Like many here on the North Shore of Oahu, it is officially safe to say that I've caught the surf bug. I think my friend Lena said it best. I'm Lena. I caught the wave and this changed my life. <laughs> life on the farm here as a woofer still takes up the biggest chunk of my time, working 20 hours a week, and I'm still loving it. I continue to do new jobs each day, which keeps it fresh. These include pulling back Wybelia, power washing the driveway, helping ocean trim and harvest coconut trees. I scoop chicken poop to use as fertilizer. And my favorite project by far was building a brick and mortar wall to prevent erosion in our shower area. I also introduced the idea of installing a pull-up bar underneath the yoga deck. After getting approval from the owners, John and Julie, it has been a staple in my morning workout routine, which pairs very nicely with the incredible yoga sessions that are hosted on the property. Since my last vlog, I have some new work companions. For the past few weeks now, I've had a bird that's apparently called a shama that follows me around and keeps me company while I work. And then as for humans, two new woofers have joined us. Masha and Tatiana are a mother-daughter duo that are really fun to work with. Masha is always super positive and from what I've gathered from translated Russian, so is her mom. Aloha, my name is Masha. Originally I'm from Russia, but I lived uh, in the past seven years in New York. And this is my mom. My name is Tatiana. She came from Russia to visit me and to connect with Hawaii. I love you, Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> I love you, Hawaii. <laughs> Could you teach me how to say my name is Logan again in Russian? Меня зовут Логан. Меня зовут Логан. Good job. Yeah. Definitely my favorite part about woofing is how it connects people from all over the world through the simple format of working together in nature. So after I lived in the treehouse for two weeks, I had to move 20 seconds up the hill to grant the new woofers the biggest living space. A new place is at the very top of the property and has an unbelievable view of Sunset Beach. It's definitely smaller and the kitchen is now outdoors, but it's a vibe up there. Well, at least until the roosters came. Rightfully, John was not thrilled having the roosters right next to his house, causing a commotion. And since none of us had the heart to, you know, we decided to move the roosters as far away from his place as possible, but of course that happens to be right outside of my place. <laughs> Let's just say it wasn't long before a few of us had a change of heart. But nothing was wasted and come on, who doesn't like chicken fried rice? I continue to meet so many cool people here and I've learned that that has the added benefit of delicious free meals. Starting with the sisters, Sydney and Claire, who are renting on the property. They have been really fun surf buddies and hosted everyone on the property for an amazing Vietnamese inspired dinner. My name is Sydney and I'm from Canada. My name is Clara and I'm also from Canada. I came to Hawaii to work here as a doctor and to learn to surf. And I came here because Sydney's working here as a doctor and I got <laughs> to bum off her life. <laughs> and to learn to surf. It's true. Yes. It's been life changing, honestly. This is, I, I love the way people live out here. Of course, Julie continues to be very hospitable with more pancakes and acai bowls. Hi, my name is Julie Dahl and I am from Huntington Beach, California. What are you passionate about in life? Oh my god, surfing! Haha, <laughs> surfing! Mama Ocean is just so beautiful and the uh, relaxed lifestyle is just wonderful. John's daughter Allie and her husband Harry, they have a wonderful family with two boys and have blessed me with post-surfing carne asada fries and a sensational pancake breakfast. Another dope person on the property is our official handyman Yura. He led us through a breathwork and ice bath workshop commonly referred to as the Wim Hof method. It was such an incredible experience and very cold. My name is Yura. I'm Ukrainian. I love ice tubs. I love ice. It's a way to connect with myself, to be really fully present in, inside, feel. It really works. So and I'm happy to share it with everyone. Mahalo. As my scheduled month on this property has winded down, I've been in somewhat of a scramble to find my next place. Got a little bit more than a week here left. Still have no idea where I'm going next, so I feel like I better get on that. I started by visiting my old wolf companion, Kion, at her new farm. The 30 minute bus ride with three additional hitchhikes made it quite the adventure to get there. I got to check out the farm, meet the host family, and it was great to see new parts of the island. For my second scouting trip, I bused to the northeast side of the island to check out a zipline place that I heard was hiring. But sadly, they needed people who could stay through Christmas, which wouldn't work out for my plans. But the bus ride wasn't for nothing, because you know I can always find a good time. On my way back, I got some poke, a banana crepe for a dollar, and checked out a local market. After, I bust to Turtle Bay, hoping to snorkel and see some turtles, but I quickly realized this was a tourist hotspot and sea life was sparse. But while I waited for the bus to take me back, I started walking around, and next thing you know, I was in the hotel pool. Now, some people might call that sneaking in, but from my perspective, I was just exploring a place that probably should have a gate. Okay, but more of a real note, it was a new and kind of scary experience for me when I realized I did not know where I would stay the following week. At the time, I actually just happened to be reading through the book of Matthew, and this verse hit me hard for my situation. <laughs> Do not worry about tomorrow, 
for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough troubles on its own. It was a really good reminder not to waste my precious time here worrying and to trust that God would work out whatever he has planned for me. Thankfully, I do now know where I'm headed next, but I'll save that for the next vlog. Gotta give y'all something to look forward to. I love you all. Peace. Helicopter, helicopter, ruin in my video. Helicopter, helicopter, ruin in my video. You done? Okay, thanks. <laughs>